yo, is this real? Is this really happening? The Blazers are really down three games to zero to the New Orleans Pelicans, bro. This is crazy. The Pelicans are playing great defense. They were already a top offensive team, but they're playing great defense at the right time. Anthony Davis, it's a reason why he emerged as a defensive player candidate because he turned up his defense. Once DeMarcus Cousins went out for the year, he turned it up. This has been a complete shocker. Nobody, nobody, N-O-B-O-D-Y, nobody can say that they had the Pelicans doing this shit. Nobody. I won't believe you if you fucking say you did. Nobody did. They probably had them winning the game. Maybe two. Maybe it going to seven. But nobody had them winning three straight and taking a 3-0 commanding series lead over the number three Portland Trailblazers. The number three seed in the West. And they're the number six seed. You got Rajon Rondo, Drew Holiday, Anthony Davis, Meritich. You got all these guys playing phenomenal. Tonight, Meritich and Anthony Davis led the way. Meritich with 30 points. They let Meritich, former Chicago Bull, light their asses up for 30 points. You know Anthony Davis is going to get his. He had 28. Drew Holiday, he had 16. Rajon Rondo damn near had another triple-double. He played great. You got these guys stepping up tremendously at the right time. in Portland, you guys, I, look, I'm hearing that Daly, Damian Lillard is dealing with an injury right now. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Because if that's the case, I could make excuses for my boss the Celtics. Now, I understand we're playing the Milwaukee Bucks. And in my opinion, the Pelicans are better than the Milwaukee Bucks. Period. All right. I understand we're playing Milwaukee, but we're without Kyrie Irving and we're without Gordon Hayward, we're without Marcus Smart, Daniel Tice. We are without some of our best players, two of our best players, in Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. We didn't have Gordon Hayward at all this year, but only about a couple minutes into the fucking season. So there's no excuse. Damian Lillard is a combined 18. Is a combined 18. For 55 from the field. He shot 5 for 14 from the field tonight. In games 1 and 2, he was combined 13 for 41. You do the math. 18 for 55. These three games in this series. And tonight he only had 20 points. CJ McCollum, only 22 points. Hell, Aminu had 21 points. Like... <sighs> I get it. They say he's dealing with an injury. I get it. But there's no excuse. This Pelicans team is clearly showing that they were underestimated and that they need to be taken seriously. That they need to be taken seriously. What a fucking complete shocker this is. The Pelicans are doing the damn thing. This is incredible, man. Portland Trailblazers, you're done. You're not coming back down three games to zero. I'm sorry. If it happened to happen, though, it would be insane. Um, props to y'all on making some history, but I don't think it's going to happen. If I'm not mistaken, nobody has never came back down three games to zero in the series, I could be wrong, or was that the finals? I think somebody has, but it wasn't in the finals. But look, the point is, the Blazers are done. Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Aminu, Jerkic, Evan Turner, all you guys, that's tough. The Pelicans are on y'all ass this year. They mean business. They ain't playing no games. Save those injuries for your mama because don't nobody want to hear them. Say goodbye, my nigga. It's over with. Y'all already know what to do. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. You turn on post notifications on, you'll be able to get my videos once they're uploaded. 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for your boy is right there, and also hit those links in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Follow me on all my social medias. I'm out of here, man. The Heat, they lost today. They're down two games to one. And the Warriors take a command of 3-0 lead over the Spurs. Blazers, that's tough.